Hello everyone! Thank you so much for tuning into the Minecraft Emporium. Now, you've probably seen somewhere in Minecraft a system such as this one, in which you place in blocks. Here I'm using concrete for a concrete converter, and it quite quickly and rapidly places them out until you reach the piston push limit. As soon as the concrete passes by water, it of course hardens, but this is how long you can get a piston to really push these things. And while there are, of course, variations of how you get the piston to push, for example, systems such as this one, which are a bit uh, slow and occasionally unreliable, gosh, this is really unreliable, what I'm going to be showing you is a 100% reliable way to turn a 12 block push limit into something much, much longer. And the way we're achieving this is by this mechanism right here. This mechanism, if you didn't know, is a way to extend the amount of blocks that can be pushed by a piston. And we're not doing anything special with commands. We are simply extending a block, say this iron block, forward and then preventing it, this line block, from pulling it back and then continuing on. This process is continued until this piston reaches its push limit, in which case you would install another one of these very small, compact, and simple, reliable systems onto the end of it to get a practically infinite piston push limit. I can clearly show you the uh, other side of this system here before I crack into the tutorial, and all you need to do is look at the side of this redstone dust, hold shift, and start holding down a right click. It's a little bit slow just because we want to ensure 100% reliability. You don't want this, this system jamming up. And as long as I keep holding right click, this piston over here will push out faster and quite, quite a while longer. And you can technically install enough chains of these simple modules and extend it all the way out as far as you would like. Again, this is extending the piston push limit with simple slime block modules. I'm going to get into the materials list, a little bit of the mechanics behind how this redstone works, and the actual tutorial. Stick around, and maybe even subscribe. Now, before I get into the tutorial, I strive to make it so that all of my redstone contraptions can be easily understood by someone, uh, you know, getting into the Minecraft Emporium channel. And if I was to explain how this system works, I, I truly believe it is quite intuitive. If I was to place a block here, you can see that it is detected by the observer, which comes around here and up the side, such that two ticks later, it extends the piston and is kept extended by this repeater here, also powering the piston, for a total of four ticks. And then as soon as that piston is starting to extend, once the four ticks uh, elapses, this piston extends with these four ticks, pushing it out, and then the slime block cannot, of course, pull an extended piston head. And then once the slime block retracts again, the piston is pushed back in. It is really a fairly simple system, and I should also show you my original concept. You can see how much larger and how the timings are actually pretty similar. Four, four, two, and then, well, three and one, they of course make four. In this region here, of course, it should be known that you don't actually need this water system uh, in the slightest. You can just put in solid blocks, say, these iron blocks, and the system will, of course, work perfectly. Oops, sorry, I need to unclog the system such that it can work perfectly, and as you can see, it does. I will now move into the tutorial. I know you guys have been waiting <laughs> around Alrighty, for that. everyone. Thanks for sticking around to the tutorial. The first thing I like to do when building one of these modules, and remember, you can chain them together every 12 blocks or so, we are going to start by placing and imitating the stream of blocks that is incoming into the system. We are going to place an observer, just like so, and a sticky piston with a slime block on its face, just like so. We are going to place a repeater on two ticks into this block, into this piston. Oh, and it's important to remember that this does have to be a solid block, so you can only put solid blocks into the system. We are then going to place a repeater on four ticks, a solid block here, a solid block here, a solid block here, and a solid block here. This is all to just, you know, cover up and over top of our block incoming stream. And then a repeater on four ticks here. You're then going to place three blocks into the ground, just like so, with redstone on each one of those. 
You're then going to place a block on the back side of that observer, one block into the ground with a repeater on the four ticks. If you remember, this is going to time the piston, which is pushing and pulling the blocks, which are already on the other side of this build. And that is actually not going there. It is going into a block, into a ground, into redstone dust, and a piston actually goes there. I can actually show you that the system works by placing a block in this position here, and just like that, it works fantastically. I can also show you the tutorial on how you make this build here. I, I don't really think it needs it, but of course you're going to place a torch into the ground, a redstone dust coming out of the side of it, two ticks on this repeater, block redstone dust, and then two and four ticks back into this piston. And that's really it. I like to put some glass panes on the top and sides of this entire build such that when you're spam clicking by right clicking hold down, you don't accidentally place blocks in this region and mess up the entire contraption. That's actually it for this entire system. Um, I really do hope you enjoy and I believe this is tremendously useful, not only for concrete streams, but imagine having a pipeline of all of these things going throughout your base or out into the end of the world. It's completely up to you, and I really, really do thank you for watching. Your viewer support is greatly appreciated. With that all out of the way, take care, and have a fantastic, and I do mean splendid, rest of your day.